Hi guys, it's Christine. Welcome back to my channel. Um, excuse the mess. Back there, I was a little too lazy to clean my makeup, but it's fine. It's fine. I want to say thank you so much for watching the reaction video. And it's been so amazing. The comment section has been incredible. Thank you all so much for just showing so much support and congratulating me. It's honestly been the craziest thing. But along with all the amazing, beautiful, heartwarming comments, I've been getting a lot of questions about me, about the video, about my application and everything like that. So this isn't a stats video, nothing about my scores and my extracurriculars and my essays. This is just a little bit about me so I can clear up some stuff that I've been seeing a lot and so I can address some other things too. So this is all going to happen in this one video. So I have a little notepad with some stuff that I wanted to talk about. So questions I've been getting, how old are you and what grade are you in? So I I am 17 years old. I um, am in I'm a senior in high school. So I'm in the 12th grade, last year of high school. And then what's going to happen is next fall, I will be going to college. Where are you from? I am from the tri-state area, which is around like Pennsylvania, New Jersey, New York, um, in the United States of America. I don't want to exactly disclose where I live, but that is the general area. So I am from the USA. My ethnicity, I am Korean American. My parents are both Korean. They both immigrated to America from South Korea. And that's really all there is to it. I mean, yeah, I'm Korean. And then a question I've been getting a lot is how can you apply for the class of 2023 already when you are only a senior or some people are assuming that I'm in eighth grade or something like that. Um, so this is, that's how it works internationally, abroad, especially in Europe. Um, you apply for college and then the class year is the year that you're entering into the college so that's why people are thinking that i'm applying for college years ahead but in america the way that it works is that when i say class of 2023 that means that i will be graduating college in 2023 i'm the high school class of 2019 that's the year that i'm graduating which is this year i'm graduating in june and then i go to college this fall so that's just to clear up the air i've been getting a lot of questions i may look young kind of but i'm not in eighth grade or anything like that <laughs> so for the reaction video you guys saw my mom and i just wanted to explain what's happening with the video so just to give a little bit of a backstory at yale it's restrictive early action so that means that it's not a binding decision by restrictive it only means that i will not be allowed to apply to other private universities or colleges um, during the early rounds. I'm not bound to Yale, uh, even though I got in early. Um, it just means that they gave me my acceptance letter earlier and so I have more time to decide. So back to the whole story with the video. Um, I was waiting for a month and a half for this decision to come out and on December 14th, I'm just gonna skip forward to that Friday and just talk about that day. Um, I was really nervous all day and so I was getting all these, you know, good lucks and you know, you'll do great, don't worry, whatever happens, it'll be okay, messages in school for my friends and it was really appreciated but I was really, really nervous. So what happened was right after school, I was at home and my mom was home with me. She came home from work early. We decided to watch a movie together and so we watched Dumplin'. It's on Netflix, really good movie, love it. It's based off of a book by the way. It's was just something to help me pass the time. I had decided to turn my phone off. I wasn't looking at any messages. Um, so it was just me and my mom, just relaxing, having a good time, trying to ease my nerves. She was really helping me out. Um, we had some homemade dumplings while watching dumplings. So that was a cute little memory that I know I'll always remember on an already very memorable day. The decisions come out at 5 p.m. So we were watching and then with the way that the movie timing worked out, it actually went all the way up until 4 50-ish, like 4.50, 4.55 was when the movie ended when we finally finished watching. I explicitly told my mom I wanted to open it alone. I wanted to be in my room alone, which is why in the video I was screaming so much. She was just hanging out downstairs while I went upstairs to check my decision. So I came up to my room and then suddenly I saw that with the way that it popped up on the screen when I press, pressed uh, status update, it was like the video came up, but it didn't play right away, which is why I kind of reacted 
twice. I reacted like really shocked when I saw that the title of the video said Welcome 2023, except I was like, there's no music playing, the video's not playing, what do I do? So then I pressed play and then the music started and then I screamed. So that's why it looks like I have a weird double reaction in the video. Just wanted to clarify that. I was freaking out and then my first thought was, of course I have to tell my mom because she's downstairs. At this time, my dad was at work because he doesn't come home until 7 p.m. and this was 5 p.m. which is why I was only calling for my mom. That was another question, why didn't you call your dad too? It's because he wasn't there. Um, and that's also why my mom ran off to call him. Um, she had to grab her phone. I was obviously shocked. I was not expecting it in the slightest, but yeah, it happened. And uh, just thinking about it makes me like so nervous again. Definitely a whirlwind of emotions but that's basically the whole backstory that went on for a way longer than i thought it would but yeah that's basically what happened with the video um and then finally for my applied major i actually applied for political science and neuroscience uh, i talked about those a lot in my essays and i was actually really dead split between the two uh, for a while even up until a few days ago i finally decided what i wanted to lean towards so i'll split between the two for various reasons which maybe i'll get into if i do make that essay video we'll see but um i finally decided that i'm probably leaning towards neuroscience uh but i am interested in the directed studies program at yale which is kind of a humanities based interdisciplinary kind of program i would love to apply for that it's for first years only so um i have a lot of options that i could consider but yeah so that's the major i am leaning towards neuroscience so that's pretty much all the things that i wanted to address immediately um again thank you so much for all the support it's been amazing i am planning on making more videos i do want to continue my channel uh in college so i do hope to make a lot more vlogs and um, talk with you guys if you are um, planning on sticking around that'll be amazing so yeah that's it i am extremely blessed and thankful see you soon bye